tricky, gritty, and superbly acted by the bulldog-like actor Bob Hoskins, playing an ex-con who gets a job as a chauffeur to a high-class prostitute, but his first day on the job, he doesn't know her profession, as he meets her at a fancy London hotel. Darling, sorry, I'm just... Darling, What do we think this is, the Honeymoon Hotel? Look, do you have business in this hotel, or can I really help you? Yes, you can. Pretend you know me, would you? Well, don't crowd you. Don't you are. Just fucking all the time. Not the back. Front. So where did they get you from? Under a cabbage leaf. Kathy Tyson is very good as the prostitute who uses Hoskins to look for a missing prostitute friend as they visit London Hooker's row of outcasts. A friendship is developing between them. Yeah, tell me something. Did I ever want you back? Who? Your clients. Always. What, they, they fall, fall in love with you? Or do they? Sometimes they fall for what they think I am. What do I think you are? What do you think? Black hole. Did I say that? What do you think, then? Well, you ain't no night nurse. I ain't no night nurse. Let's say you're a lady. Michael Caine's in the film playing a London underworld chief. Let's get something better. Well, that's your mean bet. I mean, dirty, nasty, slimy, kinky. I don't want to know anything about tea. All right then, George? Michael Caine has a way of showing up in a lot of very good films. And I tell you, you know, we've been doing tributes to actors and directors from time to time. I think it may be time to look at the career of Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Yeah, because he's very good here. Mona Lisa has reminded me of a couple of very fine American films, Taxi Driver and Hardcore, films of the night, but life as it is lived. This film is not as brutal at first as those American films, but the shock value is always hovering around the edge of this picture, waiting to surprise not only us, but Bob Hoskins as well. I like it as a thriller and as a very offbeat and tricky love story. It's a very, very good film. I liked it very much. One of the things I enjoyed about it is that although it is essentially about a prostitute, it is about the prostitute and her chauffeur. It's not mm. about the prostitute and her clients. It doesn't right. fall uh, prey to the temptation of showing us a lot of kinky love scenes. That's what right. goes on between closed doors largely goes on between closed doors, and we're out in the car waiting with Bob Hoskins, who starts out at the beginning of this movie so filled with fury and so angry with her, as we saw, and then eventually he softens, and it turns out that really through her experiences and her background, she's the one who's really hard. There's, he also has another great relationship with a buddy who works in a garage. Right, yeah. It's very well cast, and I think the film is making a point of about not taking people's class for granted. You know, mm -hmm. if you're a prostitute, that doesn't mean you are a certain kind of person. If you're a garage mechanic, his buddy, you're not a certain kind of, you can be cultured too. Right. If you're an ex-con, that doesn't mean you can't be reformed. Mm -hmm. I think there's a heart to this film about how people can change. I think it's a very special film. There's one other thing about the film I liked, and that is very few films in recent years have had a better feel for the streets of London. Mm -hmm. For all the places of London, hotel right. lobbies and fish and chip so shops, Soho. Soho and the embankment. A re this is a real Londoner's film about yeah. these people who live in this city and survive. You like her, don't you? Of course I like her. Yeah, but you like her in that special way. In the songs. What songs? Well, I've sold myself for a couple of dykes. She needs me, George. Do you needed me to get her? You ever need someone? All the time, 